So is van life the American dream or is van life not the American dream? To be honest, van, American dream is not like a term I use. When I hear the American dream, I think about are you successful? Are you successful in your life? So to me, I translate that. Is van life the American dream? Are you successful in your life? I um, was on YouTube and YouTube suggested this video and I will link to the video. I believe the channel is called The Upgrade. And the young lady, she, um, I think the title was I Gave Up on the American Dream Regularism. I gave up on the American Dream Regularism. Now my time is currency. So I almost didn't click on the video, but the young lady, I wanted to know why. I mean, she was a young lady, probably my kid's age, and she um she looked she didn't look like a giver. She didn't look like a type of person that give up on anything. So, you know, I hit play on the video. And when I hit play on the video, she started talking. The first thing she said was my favorite YouTuber, Timothy Ward. And I did like a double take because I follow Timothy Ward. I don't watch all of his videos. And Timothy Ward is a nomad. And I consider myself a nomad before I consider myself a van dweller. I'll put the definition somewhere just in case some of y'all don't have a clear definition of what my definition is of nomad. And Timothy Ward is... Um, he does like these walking and talking videos. But even before that, Timothy Ward used to live in a van. So he used to live RV life. Or I think if he had a, he had a van or RV, I can't remember. But he quit van life. And now he kind of bops around um, the United States going from like hotels to Airbnbs. Um, he doesn't do campgrounds. But that's kind of like what my nomad life consists of bopping around from like campgrounds i'm on, I'm, tra I'm traveling right now and things like that so when she asked that question i like had to take a pause and i watched her entire um video so after watching her video um and listening to it i had to go check out timothy ward's video and his video is titled something like i gave up on the american dream and why you should too. Now, Timothy always has these. If you've ever followed Timothy, um, I don't watch him all the time, but I do think he is a um, bright guy and he has some out the box kind of thinking and ideals. So, um, but after a while, and Timothy is, I don't know how old he is, but I would say he's older than the young lady. If I'm guessing, the young lady is either in her 20s, maybe early 30s. I don't. No, I believe. I'm just guessing. And if I'm guessing, I know Timothy, Tim, it's your boy Tim. I know that he is, I would say, over 40, because I think he made a video once before telling his age. But um, Timothy, I can understand, because really what Timothy is doing is he's saying, I'm not even going to interpret what Timothy is saying. Y'all go watch the videos. I'm going to link to both of their videos. But I'm going to talk about as it pertains to my life, the American dream and why that video stopped me in my tracks and why it kind of had me come full circle and start thinking about some things. Um, I generally don't give a lot of attention to what other people think about my van life because van life is way too active. I respect those who love and care about me and what they think about me. I do care that they care about me, but I don't give really a lot of attention if, cause what they're really saying is, are you successful? So they don't go around saying, are you living the American dream? Are you living the American dream? They don't go around saying that. But it's little ways that they say it. So I'll give you all an example. I have a friend who I went to college with and we are good friends. We don't talk, we talk every blue moon. We text every blue moon. We know some of the same. We know the same people and we know we grew up in the same town. So we kind of know everything, the politics, uh, whatever. We know everything going on in the town. So every time something happens, he'll text me or I'll text him or give a call or something. Well, his nickname for me is Annie Oakley. He calls me Annie Oakley. Now, 
I don't be thinking about what he's talking about. And I never really even knew who Annie Oakley was. I thought Annie Oakley was somebody from a Western movie. His butt watches these Western movies. And I thought she was maybe this lady that lived off grid and I don't know, you know, whatever, lived off grid in her, it wasn't vans back then, but wagons. And I never, he's been calling me that name for years. And I've never looked up who Annie Oakley is. I just had a vague idea. I thought she was some fictional character. She is not a fictional character because I've since looked her up. Then I was talking to somebody. I always, you know, I have to keep my eyes on everything. And I was talking to somebody and um, they said, um, we were just talking about something. It was a relative actually. And they were saying something like, well, you know, you don't have to tell them you live in a van. And so those two things, I want to stick on those two points, him calling me Annie Oakley and my family member like encouraging me or saying, you don't have to tell anybody you live in a van. So I'm going to stick on those two points. Sorry if y'all see a glare in my eyeglasses. I've tried to work it out, clean them. So sorry about that. So back to this American dream and why I, I have been thinking about it after those comments and after seeing that lady's video. Well, let me tell you about the two people. My friend who I was saying calls me Annie Oakley. He is um, a college graduate. He has a wife, the two kids, the house. Um, he owns property. Um, then a relative, she's a college graduate. Um, she has the husband, the kids. Um, she has different bench, business ventures that she's um, that she does. So, OK, so these people by society standards, you know, are successful, but they get up to alarm clocks and they know the date of the week. Now, let me just tell you about me and my American dream. First, I never wanted the American dream. I don't even I never just used to say I want the American dream. I don't you know, everybody desires to be successful everybody desires to be successful we do so in my desire to be successful i graduated for a p from a pwi a very well-known well-respected university i also went to film school at ucla i was married um, i have two adult sons i don't have any grandkids wishing 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 um, and um, my last job was as my last job, like for a company, my last job for a company, my title was research associate. And I worked for a corporate America. And um, ironically, because my degree is in English literature and I don't like numbers, but that was my last, if you want to say, job. And ever since then, um, I just I, I create and sell digital products. That's how I earn my money. If like digital products, they have ebbs and flow. So sometimes it's really, really good. And sometimes it's just OK. But as a freelance writer, someone who's been writing for over 30 years, I can always grab a client, grab a client here or there. And, um, you know, if I wanted to just like do something special or whatever, would it be possible for me to live in a van and travel as I do? and have a like I have a home base but would it be possible for me to have a home dwelling yeah I could rent a room I could have that room and then I could travel whatever but as far as getting my own place probably not probably wouldn't be possible my long-term American dream goal in three to five years and really closer to three years is to get a boxable I've shared about boxable boxable before on this channel and i'll put a description a boxable is a prefab house elon musk lives in a boxable it's a casita it's like you buy the house it's affordable housing um they start at 45 the company's in las, las vegas they start at forty five thousand dollars um the payments are as low as 250 a month but it depends on factors y'all know credit all that kind of stuff so I am on their waiting list. And that's what um, my, I'll say in three years, that's what I want to be doing. Right now, living in a van is all of that to me. Even though van life 
as I share on this channel, has ups and downs and ebbs and flow. I do consider myself blessed, but I want y'all to stay to the end because I want to talk about some of the people I hear from who either aspire to live in a van or they're currently living in a van and their reasons for doing so. So with me, um, even though, you know, I always got a little, I talk about my family a lot on this channel because my family is everything. I want to lick, lick the sucker, but my family is everything to me. And even though I've had my ups and downs, um, no family member, none, not one, not, I can't think of a single family member, not, not a one that um, if I didn't choose to be houseless, say I was homeless, that would make, let me be homeless. In fact, um, I've been talking to my, and I've been talking to him. Please don't let me say that. I have not been talking to him. I've been getting a text here and there from my ex-husband because some, his, some of his relatives, he's had like back-to-back -back deaths in his family. And so, um, you know, we were texting back and forth. And when I was in town, when I was in Ohio, I went to, you know, some funerals of some of his family members. And I was telling him, I said, um, I was texting. I was like, well, I'm about to lay down because, you know, I'm not feeling well, whatever, on I'm traveling, I'm on the road. And he was like, I don't know where you at, but come here. You know, I got a room. He owns a home with his brother. Him and his brother, they own like a two family house. He was like, you know, you got a room. I ain't messing with him. I don't, I don't want no parts of that. But I'm just saying that to say, this is absolutely my choice to live in a, mer in a, in a minivan. And this is absolutely, at this point in my life, my American dream. This is my American dream. The American dream is whatever you want it to be. Um, it is. It's whatever you want it to be. And uh, living in a van, not for everybody. It's not everybody's American dream, but it's my American dream right now. Or let me just say this. It's my, de my, de it's my definition of success because I am happy. Yes, there are ebbs and flows, ups and downs in van life. But for the majority of the time, I am happy. I don't wake up with an alarm clock or I don't have a calendar. And for the majority of the time, I am happy. What is your definition of happiness? I would like for y'all to leave it in the comments. I hear from people all the time on this channel, either they're forced to live in a vehicle or they're excited to do it. They're forced because rents are too high. Having a place where you can only pay rent and you can't do anything else that is not the American dream. I got a lot of people that I know. They own businesses and property and all kinds of stuff. And guess what? Um, they're happy at times, but they're also a, they also stressed out because they're stressed out because owning a business causes great stress. Owning property, y'all tend to know y'all be wrong. It causes great stress. Um, the American dream, having all this big college education and owing a lot of money, it causes stress. So everybody has a different definition of the American dream. Or again, I don't really say that. They have a different definition of what it means to be happy. And if you're happy, you are living the American dream. So um, I, I talk to people through the comments. I talk to people through email, through text, all kinds of ways. And a lot of y'all are very happy or a lot of y'all are looking forward to van life or RV life or nomad life because you know it'll offer a sense of adventure, which brings you happiness. So yes, yes, yes. Van life is the American dream. Whatever you do, however you do it, Always, always, always take the joy route. This is Frankie. The channel is Joy Route, as in live your best life. On this channel, I share my traveling adventures. I share van life, van tips and travel tips and tips to keep your energy in order, as in don't. With my energy and by popular demand, I share ways that I create and sell digital products to make money on the road. If that sounds good, give a like, smash the notification bell, and take that joy route. This is Frankie. The channel is Joy Route, as in live your best life. On this channel, I share my travel adventures and van tips and travel tips 
and tips to keep your energy in order as in don't with my energy and by popular request i share some of the ways i earn money online and the joy route just means live your best life whatever you do however you do it always 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 take the joy route